The six-month saga of the Uptown Motel in Scottsville has come to an end. The final residents of the Dil dilapidated building were evicted without further conflict. And this week, the beginning phases of the building's demolition have begun. WB Care reporter Derek Parham spoke with officials to find out what comes next for the property. It's our top story at 6. Now that the final residents of the prolific Uptown Motel in Scottsville have been removed, the city and county are planning their next steps for what will fill the now vacant lot. But first, careful steps must be taken to safely demolish the, the building. building. Uh, we have an asbestos contractor there now that's as the, removing all the asbestos. We have a local contractor that has agreed and wanted to be participate in this situation and they've agreed to demo the building for free. We'll be, the county and the city will be paying for the dumping tipping fees at Glasgow. So it's not gonna, end, not gonna cost us a lot of money. Once the asbestos is fully removed, demolition of the building will begin sometime after February 27th. And the space is expected to be reduced to flat ground by the end of March. Once that's completed, interested parties will be welcome to bid on the property. It'll have to be auctioned off. KRS requires any seized property to be auctioned off, so that's what we'll, we'll be doing. The pro and then the proceeds, a portion of that will go to the Commonwealth Attorney, and the rest will be split between the city and the county, and that money will go to our uh, drug task force or our crime task force. While there has been some backlash surrounding the building's demolition, Harper, the city, and the county maintained the safety concerns in the space would make its restoration a costly and difficult effort. We felt like it was best to take that building down and start new, hope someone built something very nice there, and I, th I think it will. Like I said, I think the price that that uh, property is going to demand, they're going to have to build something nice to pay for it, and we're really excited about see what comes there. It's one of the first things you see when you come into city limits of Scottsville. We're really, really excited about seeing what happens with that. Reporting in Scottsville, Derek Parham, WBKO News. There is no definite date yet for when the auction will take place, but Harper shared that it will likely be an online auction sometime in the coming months. We'll share those details on our website and our WBKO News app when we learn more.